What's going on guys, CJT here, and as you, as you can see, our tube has been given some life. Now I need to fix these water sources, but besides that, we've got life going on in here. we got some sea pickles and stuff, so things are coming to shape. But today, what I really wanted to talk about was... That it's episode 25. I can't believe it's already been 25 episodes in this season. It's kind of ridiculous, actually, how fast it's gone by. So, for this episode, I wanted to do something special at the start. And that is for you guys. So, for anyone that comments on this video... I'm going to build something for you. So I'll build something, whatever you say in the comments, I'll build like a little house or I'll dedicate something of mine to you, but I'll build it for you. So if you've seen my sh YouTube stream, it's probably going to be something similar to that. So if you haven't figured it out already, what we're going to do on this awesome episode is kill the Elder Guardian. I figured it would be something fun that we could do for this episode, so we're going to run in, we're going to blow holes in this building, and we're going to try and fight the shit out of him. So, let's go do it. This is by far the easiest way to climb stairs. Whew. And we slept. So... Now we can store our items that we don't need. I'm going to take ice, just my fortune pickaxe, and organize what I need to bring with me. So right now I think just dirt and ice. I don't know what that was. Uh, some good food. I'll also bring the crap food and a sword. I'll bring my water breathings, my strength, and my generation potions. I probably like I didn't organize that much, but basically it's organized. Alright, we're approaching. And now I've made a platform so we can be safe on the land. I don't have mining fatigue yet, which is good. Take a regeneration. Oh, now I do. Take my potion of mining. And let's get going. The best way to fight these guys is to make a safety place. And then the strategy... Oh, I have mining fatigue, I forgot. Crap. Alright, this will be a while. So it's, it was taking forever to get through the dirt, so actually this is a lot faster. So, hopefully we'll get through this soon, but there's going to be a whole heck of people down there. And the reason I have the TNT is because you usually can blow a hole in the side, but this is fine too. Alright, I gotta dodge now. Look around for the rays of light that are, might be on me. Can I block that? No. Okay, but I'm only taking... Oh god, that's a lot. Kind of sketch. See, this is why I need the tiny ones. All 
No, I just have a question. Let's let's test something right there. So sweet, so using TNT as a door isn't a bad idea either. See. And I have this air hole. So what I want to do is, ooh, I need a, is to light this and run. But I made a mistake and that didn't work. Does this work? So see, that's how you use it to blow up the wall, but I used way too much TNT there. So we're probably going to have a problem. But there he is. The Elder Guardian. Oh. Oh. Dodge, dodge, dodge. Ooh, that's a lot of damage. <sighs> oh, okay. Got him, guys. Sweet, so now we got the Elder Guardian. I already blew a hole in the roof, which is even more helpful. And we can run. Unless that's another. Oh, wait, isn't there three? Oh, crap, I'm pretty sure there's three. Uh, oh, we got one. Let's go for the others. Alright, we should probably re-up on our water breathing. Yeah. We got one regeneration potion left. Let's use this smart. See, if I do this smart, I won't need to regenerate. Oh, that's a lot of damage. There we go. We got more. And if there's one there, that means the other one's out and over there. Right? I guess we're going to explore it the old fashioned way. Oh lord. Hmm. Found him. Oh, 
That was a lot easier, guys. Perfect. And once this mining fatigue is gone, we can start collecting some items here. See, that mining fatigue will go away in like two minutes, which isn't bad at all. That's uh, 12 seconds. All right, now the hope is, as I don't get fatigued again, if I do, that means we've made a mistake. So far, everything's looking pretty good. <gasps> what is this? I didn't know this was a thing. It's a sponge vault. Oh, this is so good, guys. This is so good for us. Hmm. Little water hole. <laughs> So guys, we've so far half conquered the Guardian Temple. Wow, I'm really bad with the names right now. Um, underwater Temple. And we got 30 sponges, which is a ridiculous amount. So our goal now is to just kill some stuff, collect some blocks. But in reality, we're going to go take this thing over and turn it into a good old-fashioned guardian farm. <gasps> Wait, no, there's more? <laughs> See, I thought you only got three sponges from this entire thing. The fact that there's this many in there is amazing. I guess they changed it in the 1.14 update. Oh, just, I got three minutes. That's good. Well guys, I would say this has been conquered. So I went and I was doing some under cave mining just so I could grab more obsidian to make a new nether tunnel, but you know. Found a decent number of uh, diamonds in here. Ten diamonds right there. So we made it back. Here's all of our stuff. We collected all this while just trying to get some obsidian. So now we're going to go into the nether cave. And this coordinate is at 205 positive and 3461 negative. So if you divide those numbers by 8, that should tell you where the portal should be in the nether. And... Let's see, 3,461 to the negative divided by 8 equals, uh, let's see, wait, it's uh, 432.625 to the negative. So, we're almost at the 400, 432, 432, okay, that's out this direction. Then the other one was positive 25. So that's right here. 
Okay. Negative 432 and positive 205. Okay, I can do that. It's actually not that bad. So right here, you can see we're at 25. And then this box is 432. So I just had to, uh, you know, come down. The portal's right up there. That's where we came from. But this, not too bad. Just a little bit dangerous, that's all. And that if I mine anywhere below me, it's lava. Now for the ultimate test to see if it actually linked up properly. And it did, which is good. But now we gotta build a path to the home portal, which is totally okay. I just don't want any of this on me when I do it. So there's the first portal. Down there's the second one. And I'm guessing... Yep, over here is the other one that takes you to the snow place. So... We've made our connection, and I don't think you guys saw this, but all I did was run and sprint and hold down the mouse, and I just mined through it, so kind of like this. And every once in a while when I saw an opening, I would just hold the shift button. So, this should take us all the way back to my portal now. Now, the crappy thing is I left all that stuff there now, so I have to go run it back and get it. So, now we're back to the base. I dropped off some of the things already. But now we can throw our sponges into here, dry those up, and then do some really cool stuff with them. We've got plenty of magma blocks that I grabbed in the nether. And now, we should be set. Wow, I have a lot of chests of this stuff. To have a prismarine chest full of goodies there. Good stuff about Prismarine is now we can make a conduit and have underwater breathing. So everything's all just coming together, but I need more Nautica shells, because I think I only have two. So we got to get that stuff going. And besides that, we're doing pretty hot. And with my Minecraft crashing for no reason from me trying to sleep in the bed, I'm going to call that for this episode, guys. Thank you so much for watching. Thank you for getting us to 25 episodes. And don't forget, if you're a subscriber, leave a comment. Or if you're someone new, leave a comment, and I'll mention you in the next video. Thank you so much, guys, for all the support you've gave. Thank you so much. Thanks for watching.